We are headed to Juan Taco. I almost said Taco Way again, but we're going <laughs> to Juan Taco. I haven't been here before. It's out on the beach. This is a lunchtime trip for us because we're trying to avoid beach traffic, but really it's almost three o'clock, so we're going to get terrible traffic we're trying to come home, and Scarlett's going to be all upset, but it's okay because we're going to have great tacos. Oh, planning your life with a child so much harder. You could take a nap. Nice, nice shades. Thanks. I'm cool. Cool mom. Cool mom. We got some Santitas chips here. And some paste salsa. Taste of peso, isn't it? Ready for chapa? Yeah. The queso's good. It's at the hair place. When is queso not good though? Actually, I don't like Chipotle queso, so. <laughs> Every queso is good except for Chipotle. Yeah, it's too smoky. Chicken quesadilla, chicken burrito. We got carnitas, shrimp beef and chicken tacos. We have the queso, we got the salsa, got the chips. One more. Let's review it. Oh, and I guess we have a, this is a milder hot sauce and this is a habanero hot sauce, so. Come on. They're pretty good. I like that it's like grilled. Burrito. Ooh, I like that it's like grilled. There's not a lot of stuff in there, but it is really good what's in there, you know? Oh yeah, that looks juicy. Oh, it's busting. Yeah. I'm gonna go like right in the middle. Honestly guys, That's good. the ambiance 10 out of 10 already. Mm. That place is cool looking. Yeah, it is really thanks. nice. Thanks. I was saying thanks for the water. I was like, what, did you build this thing? <laughs> Those are really salty, you guys. I'm trying not to make my face look too... Salty wow. beans? Wow, uh, I don't uh. think I've ever had that salty of a bean. Right? That's very salty. Mmm, wow, yeah. Oh yeah, that's amazing. It's got fresh cilantro. It's like so crispy on the outside. In fact, I almost think it has like a cheesy crisp on, like it's made with cheese on the outside. I don't think so. Look at that. Oh, maybe. Look at that cheese. Yeah. Yum. I'll go with the spiciest one. Dunk. Ah. Ready for takeoff. It's pretty spicy. Like, Austin and Gabby would fry. But I like it. Yeah, girl. Mm. It's actually really good, isn't it? Yeah. The sauce is kind of like sweet. It's got crunch on there with pickled onions. Yeah, I think it's good. We had to move inside because Letty was getting hot. their house hot sauce, I guess. It tastes like Frank's mixed with something. I really liked it, but there are definitely some things that I didn't like as much as other places and didn't really like in general. But ambiance was nine and a half out of 10 for sure. It's arguably the best restaurant for ambiance that we've been to because it was like modern, upstate, like it just looked then cute. Then the outdoor area where you can sit by the water. Music was good. Um, but I de deducted a 0.5 because of the smoke. It's so it's smoky in there. So it's obvious like it's almost like a kitchen that's not well ventilated. There's just like smoke like where they're cooking stuff in there. So. Yeah. 
Um, you don't kind of notice it after you've been in there for a while, but um, you definitely notice it if you like come in and out. Yeah. Um, service I thought was great. Yeah. Yeah. They absolutely. they took our order and then he brought our order our food to us outside and asked us if we were gonna stay outside or if he wanted us to put our food like inside and I said no we're gonna stay outside for a bit. So service, what do you give? I mean nine. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and one time but it's also kind of like serve yourself so it's not like you actually get like well it's just service, like tacos so way you have to keep that in mind yeah it's like tacos way yeah. and there was a guy that was walking around so if you needed something I'm sure they could help you yeah um, and then I guess what's next food and price so price was $51 plus tip it came out to like 60 bucks so in general I think all of the restaurants have been around 60 yeah. bucks and we've all been are you full Yes. I'm full. Got a lot of food. And Austin's full. So we've all been full every time we've left the restaurants. So um, noticeably about, what would that be, like 15% cheaper than sushi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mexican food is about 15% cheaper than sushi. Maybe 20% cheaper. As far as food goes, rice and beans, I like would not recommend getting them just because they were like so salty. And, and smoky. It, there was a smokiness to it. It's chili on top of Spanish rice. So yeah. um, chips and salsa and queso. Also, definitely not like made in house. So if you care about that, then you know maybe don't order it. But also not that expensive though. Yeah. The chips and queso was like three fifty or something, and the chips queso and salsa was, was like two fifty. And salsa isn't bad, but it's just not like fresh. Yeah. And, oh, and it, but it is a lot too. Right. Like we didn't even finish the chips and queso or the chips and salsa. Um, and then the tacos, so good, every single one. Pickled onions, like cilantro. Um, they Super were fresh. They were like the carnitas taco was so big. It reminded me of velvet taco and velvet tacos are normally like five fifty, like five, six dollars per taco. And that those all these tacos were three fifty. So hands down, I can tell you the tacos are totally worth it, mm -hmm. um, especially the carnitas and the chicken and the shrimp. And apparently on Wednesday they have pork belly and Christine said it's amazing. Aubrey probably wouldn't like it because it's very fatty. Pork belly is fatty. But to me, my favorite was the carnitas and the chicken tacos. But I, I also liked, really like the shrimp, but I'm just like never really like a shrimp taco guy. Yeah. I liked the, um, was that barbacoa or what was it? Carnitas. That? Carnitas, oh, okay. And the shrimp taco. Yeah. Um, and then burrito was like pretty average, I would say. Like nothing super special about it. I, I liked it. Okay. Like I would rather eat that burrito than a Chipotle burrito. For sure, because it's like grilled. Yeah, it's like yeah. grilled on the outside. Uh, okay. It, inside was just meat, rice, and beans, but it was a lot of meat. Like every bite I was getting meat in there. Mm -hmm. um, so I really liked that. And then, um, and then quesadilla, hands down probably the best quesadilla I've ever had in my life. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Some of the food we had there was the worst food we had had so far, but some of it was the best food we'd had so far. Right. There's definitely things like I wouldn't recommend and then things that I would be like, yes, go there to get this. Yeah. So I guess if I was going to bring someone to a place to get tacos for, for one taco over taco way. Yeah. So one taco is where we ate today. So yeah, I think their tacos are better. Yeah. They're like but of pretty course, the at same. the end, we'll give you the final review because we have one more spot. Together. Yeah, it's hard because like they did a lot of things pretty good, but then they did some things not so good. But overall, my score for them would be probably like an 8.9. Mm, wow. Is that the high score that, that's gone so far? Yeah, I've never given above a 9. Yeah, I think I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to say 8.8. .8, so. Yep. It was good. Yeah, it really was. Like I, I Given think that it, some things were not good. Yeah. It was still that good. So. Yeah, what they did well, they did really well. So I liked it a lot. So. Check it out if you're on Panama City Beach. But that's it. We got one place left. What is it, Austin? Next week is... I think it's Amigos. Amigos? I don't know. We'll see. Or Amigos for you. Amigos? Um, es un placer. Share this with someone. Subscribe if you haven't because we have so many more restaurants to do. And um, comment below. Like it. You're, you're worth, worth it. it. Hasta luego.